Hi everybody, it's TJ uh, with a follow-up video. First follow-up video I think I've ever done. Uh, my last MetaBase sort of quick tutorial was on how to turn an enum into a friendly value. For example, we have some data here, uh, some sample data where we're showing male and female, but actually under the hood, it's zero and one. And so I showed you this nifty little trick on in the editor, how to come down here and create a custom column where you use a case statement to basically say, if it's zero, turn it into male. If it's one, turn it into female. And I was pretty proud of myself. I was like, look at this clever little hack I created. Uh, and then um, Scott on our team who does a lot of meta-based stuff for us was like, hey man, there's like actually a much easier way to do that. And it's in the admin section. So let me show you. Okay. So if you go into uh, the data model section here, right up here and pick your database, uh, and scroll down to the field, and I'm actually doing a different field because I'm going to show you something. Um, this table has a lot of columns. Uh, da, 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 status. Almost there. Status. Okay. You click on this little gear icon next to the field. And in here, this you're governing uh, the values of this specific field, uh, which is really cool. Metabase has all these great little things you can do to specific fields. Um, but if you scroll down under display values, there's this show original value, which is zero or one, uh, or create a custom mapping. So you basically, you know, again, for a coder, an enum is something you put into the code base that says zero equals this, one equals that, whatever. Well, you're basically kind of reversing that. And you're basically saying, well, the original value, zero, two, three, and four, correspond to these friendly human readable terms. Um, and this is super cool. Like you don't have to go through that goofy uh, uh, custom column thing that I just showed you. But there's a caveat. This only works if the underlying field is an integer. So for example, let me show you this. Okay, this is the column that I was just showing you, um, the male, female. And you'll notice that it doesn't actually give me an option for custom mapping. And that's because this particular field is stored as a text in our database. Our users, our end users get to define their data types and they don't always pick the right data types and that's okay, it's not their fault. Um, but if you pick anything other than an integer and you're storing it as a text or a varchar, you're not gonna be given the option to do a custom mapping. So um, just be mindful that if you're gonna store an enum, a zero, a one, a two, a whatever, an integer, store it as an integer so that in Metabase you can define a custom mapping. Uh, hopefully that was helpful and uh, we'll talk to you next time.